What is up, guys? Primetime Avenger LT 16BH. So, bunkhouse, we're looking just under 3,100 pounds dry weight, around 20 feet overall from tongue all the way back to tip, okay? So, let's check it out. So, Forest River, this is a 2022 Primetime Avenger LT 16BH. So, bunkhouse. Obviously, this is going to be a single axle, right? So for you guys that want something quick, easy, that you don't have to fight with to get in and camping ASAP, something like this you may actually want to look at, okay? Your price is also going to be a little bit more economical. As soon as you move away from a smooth wall, such as this Cougar, you're going to be going to a corrugated, which is fine. We have a substructure of wood. Our frame, in this case, is still LCI. Laminated front wall. They put hurricane straps up these edges too. So these are strapped and then they are sealed. And then you're gonna have the cap on top. A lot of people worry about water. We're still gonna worry about our seals on top, making sure our sealants are good, making sure our roof is clean, making sure everything is nice and caulked as well. Any seams that you see, you're just going to want to redo that caulk every so often oh, and or just have it inspected. So take it somewhere that you trust, have it done. So we'll start working our way around, okay? We have a pass-through storage. And here you're going to be able to see that wood structure. They still finished off the bottom. Same floor material is what is going to be inside. We have manual jacks, a three-quarter socket. Those go down extremely quickly. Manual front tongue, if you want to change that out, they're around 250 to 300 depending on where you are. Single 20 pound propane tank, battery and holder would be right behind that as well. Our pass through storage that we looked at earlier comes through on this side. Windows, nicely done all the way around. So for this size unit, actually a lot of windows. No slide as you're gonna see, that just means less setup and breakdown. All of our connection points are wide at the back. So you can be able to do just a single hookup for your drain. Our hot water heater is at the back. Cable connection. And then secondary storage is being utilized here. So that would be under the bunks. You can keep all your extra connections, sewer hoses, things like that out of the way and then use your front storage for things that you actually use to camp. Notice they actually covered our hinges here. So it's not just an exposed hinge. Nice little update. Full bumper at the back. Shower at the back. Full size spare. Our city water connections in the center. It is backup camera prepped. And then back to our campsite. Again, with the single axle, it's just less for you to have to maintain and deal with. Your towing and backup is going to be extremely easy too. Electric awning, hand tip, Solera. We're going to have an LED strip underneath that too. So you're going to have some campsite light. 110 is included. There's our furnace exhaust. If you do need to fill for fresh water, they do include that as well. Fold down steps. Some people prefer the stable steps now. Your only negative with a stable step is if you're actually wanting to stop and use this camper while towing, that's gonna cause you to have extra setup or fight with the stairs a little bit more than this. Also with this, pretty low to the ground, not too bad. You can, can just step up over it, depending on your actual height. So let's get inside. We're gonna step right in. We're looking at an east to west queen. small Bluetooth speaker. These speakers are going to become a little bit more well known to people over time. It's indoor or outdoor. You also have USB chargers on the side. That just comes right off of the dock so it self charges. So you can actually take that with you if you go swimming or hiking. Overhead storage. Coming around to the boot dinette. That dinette will make down into extra sleeping. You have storage underneath. And obviously storage above with the cabinets, right? For this size unit, again, it's not bad on these windows. 
spinning back around to our kitchen side an additional larger window usually it's only about half this tall so we actually have good height there too if you happen to be on the taller side it doesn't seem like it but you can actually get it up underneath this easier than many some storage underneath deep countertop single basin sink but it does have a good reach with this faucet double burner stove and our cabinets are pretty deep eight inch hand just to give you a reference you can split that space up with the dividers other storage options our controls are up high if you happen to have kids which this is a bunk house that's good you don't have to worry about them messing with anything and then our bunks in the back double bunk standard as far as the depth but up until you have a larger teen adult it shouldn't be a problem we have a single ac dump right in the middle our lights are on a master as well as click lights and then a 12 volt fridge i expect everyone to be going to a 12 volt fridge as we migrate more to solar too with these units what that gives you with a propane you're going to have fans at the top they've eliminated that so you have that space there's no exhaust space at the back usually six to eight inches was eaten up with the exhaust on the outside plus now you don't have the exhaust holes in the back side of your camper normally this would be venting if you're running propane out on top of you if you're actually outside enjoying your camping experience this isn't going to do that it being 12 volt doesn't use a lot of electricity either gets down to temperature very fast like i said you maximize your space so 12 volts are always a plus to me you do have a furnace in this unit thermostat controlled additional usbs here for the kids skylight above because you do have a window beneath so both are going to have some natural light coming back to the bathroom so for space sake, single sink up front toward the kitchen, you do have a full shower and commode with plenty of knee space. Full shower surround, vent directly above. I like that they actually did a profile that's pretty slim. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you had another inch sticking out on each side, you're gonna lose a little bit of elbow room. So keep that kind of thing in mind whenever you're looking at a unit like this, a smaller one. So let me spin back around so you can see kind of toward the front where the bed is. Still in the lighter scheme too. A lot of these manufacturers are going to start to incorporate more wood tones again. So the 2022 model does have that scheme. I believe we're going to see a lot darker over the next few years. You guys tell me what you think about this Primetime Avenger LT16BH. It's a lightweight single axle. This is the kind of camper if you don't know what you want to get into at all and you need somewhere to start. You want something quick and easy, no slide. You can just hop right in, right? Hop right in, hitch right up, take off. Still have room for your kids, maybe a dog in a kennel, maybe nothing. Use the bunkhouse as extra space to store. If you're a big time fisherman, hunter, Again, really easy to get into something like this. Okay, guys? Like, subscribe, give me a comment. Let me know what you think.